NASA has selected SpaceX to develop its HLS or Human Landing System for Phase 3 of the Artemis program that aims to send humans to the moon by 2024. Unfortunately for Jeff Bezos, SpaceX will be given the entire $2.9 billion contract for the HLS, completely beating his aerospace company Blue Origin. This isn't the first time Blue Origin has lost a vital project. There have been many others in the past, which begs the question, is Blue Origin going downhill? Is it a total failure, or will it remain? a big contender in the long run. In this video, we'll take a look. The US Space Force terminated their contract with Blue Origins. Needless to say, things aren't going too well for Blue Origins. In December, the US Space Force terminated the Launch Technology Partnership it had signed with Northrop Grumman and Blue Origins in October 2018. That was indeed a huge loss because Blue Origin was paid a phenomenal $255.5 million over two years. Northrop Grumman received more than double that amount, $531.7 million. While that was a huge setback for the company, they're still on track to launch their suborbital spaceship called New Shepard. Shepard, which the company has been developing as part of its new space tourism venture. The New Shepard The New Shepard is a vertical takeoff and landing, or VTOL style, spacecraft that will be used for Blue Origin's venture into commercial space tourism. Completed in 2015, a crewed test flight was scheduled in 2019, but that was postponed to 2021. If all goes well, the New Shepard may soon fly with its first passenger, who purchased a seat at an auction for $28 million. When in operation, the spacecraft can carry up to seven people to suborbital space, but things are looking bleak and the proposed manned flights for 2021 are also likely to be cancelled. What exactly is wrong with Blue Origins? We all know how Jeff Bezos is a shrewd businessman, the guy is practically the richest man on earth and is no stranger to success. Of course, Bezos built the world's biggest e-commerce giant known to man, Amazon, and though he's stepping down as CEO, he'll still be closely involved with the company. He founded Blue Origins in 2000 and has at least tasted some success with New Shepard. The competition is challenging. When you take a look at the competition, especially Elon Musk's SpaceX, there's a world of difference. SpaceX is far more advanced than Blue Origins in terms of aerospace engineering and development. And I mean, hey, SpaceX has already launched rockets into space. They even launched their Red Electric Roadster into orbit around Mars using the Falcon 9. The Starship rocket system, a super heavy reusable launch vehicle, has been ferrying NASA astronauts into the International Space Station, and now Elon Musk has his eye on Mars. Can Bezos catch up with such developments? Developments. To be honest, it's very doubtful, and the success of New Shepard is nothing compared to what the competition can do. The rocket was successfully tested in an unmanned test and landed upright on its legs, but that's about it. Smaller competitors are surging ahead. The New Shepard hasn't even had a manned test flight, let alone been launched into space. Even Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic Unity 22 completed its fourth space flight, and what's phenomenal is that Branson himself took off from the Virgin Spaceport in New Mexico on July the 11th aboard the Unity, where he, three employees, and two pilots flew to the beginning of outer space. As if Virgin Galactic surging ahead wasn't bad enough, there are even smaller companies that are overtaking Blue Origins quickly. One company, Rocket Lab, has also completed its Electron rocket using 3D printed engines, which is crazy. It's only a startup, but it already completed 18 missions launching real satellites into space. It's now planning to send a space probe to Venus. Can Blue Origins catch up? It isn't that Blue Origins can't catch up. Well, maybe it can, and maybe it needs more of Jeff Bezos' attention. Blue Origins has chased human spaceflight as a commercial space tourism venture for a long time now, and if Bezos can pull it off, it would mean huge capital inflow for the company. That was the original intention, to allow the filthy rich an adrenaline rush, experiencing weightlessness and watching Earth from space. Having Bezos more involved in the company's day-to-day -day could be a big asset in securing those customers and inking contracts that would really put the company on the map. The New Glenn Let's talk about Blue Origin's other project called New Glenn. Named after astronaut John Glenn, it's a two-stage heavy lift rocket with a reusable stage booster that's capable of launching 50-ton payloads and satellites into orbit. The question is, can Blue Origins get it off the ground? The problem is that Bezos can't seem to speed up the timetable. It could carry people as well, which is a big plus, but the test schedule for 2021 has been postponed to 2022. To be a successful venture, New Glenn will need to complete several missions to prove its capability 
capabilities, especially if it has to make money and be viable for space agencies like NASA. As consolidation for cancelling the Space Force contract, NASA is making New Glenn eligible to compete for contracts under its Launch Services Program 2, so all is not lost for now, and if Bezos can breathe life into the project, it might still be a challenge to others in the space industry. SpaceX – The Main Competition the main challenger, of course, is SpaceX, who's already developed a long-standing working relationship with NASA. Elon Musk is an engineer himself and understands the technical nitty-gritties of his operations. The man is forever on board, supervising the building of his space vehicles. SpaceX's ambitions for Mars, along with its projects with NASA, definitely make the company a more attractive prospect to work with. Overtaking SpaceX would surely be a Herculean task for Bezos and Blue Origin. Adding insult to injury to add insult to injury, Blue Origin comes from none other than Amazon, who won't even be using any rockets from its sister company to launch its 3,000 satellite network as part of its famous Project Kuiper. Project Kuiper was launched as a subsidiary of Amazon in 2019 to deploy a large satellite broadband internet constellation to provide affordable worldwide broadband internet connectivity, much like SpaceX's Starlink. Not using a space vehicle from Blue Origins is being read by many as a real letdown and insult to the space company. Instead, Amazon has contracted its first nine launches to United Launch Alliance, which will be using its Atlas V rockets for the propulsion. Blue Moon Lost to SpaceX Starship HLS even though Blue Origin's latest project Blue Moon, which is a lunar lander for carrying cargo and people to the moon, was expected to clinch NASA's $2.8 billion contract, it lost to SpaceX's Starship HLS. The only saving grace Blue Origin's has is its rocket engines like the BE-4 that'll also be used by United Launch Alliance's upcoming Vulcan rocket. If Bezos plays a more active role in Blue Origin's, he might save the company after all. Whether Blue Origins is a winner or failure that now lies in the hands of Jeff Bezos, only time will tell. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Tech Division. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to click the bell icon to get notified whenever we post new videos. Well, that's about it, so until next time, have a good one.